Hi guys, I hope you are doing well and welcome to Python Excel automation series. In this video, we will learn how we can apply filter into Excel using Python Excel Wings library. And guys, before proceeding this video, I will recommend to access this playlist for Python Excel automation. In this playlist, we have seen how we can use Excel Wings for Python Excel automation. This entire playlist will help you a lot to understand the Excel Wings functionalities. Okay, so for this video, we will understand how we can use filter using the Excel wings. Okay, so let's go to the Jupyter notebook. So guys, first of all, I need to import the library of Excel wings. So simple import Excel wings as XW. Okay, now let me run this. And now I want to open a workbook. So guys, this is my particular workbook. So I am going to property and security tab to copy the path of this particular workbook, right? And here I'm using file name simple and now i am going to open this workbook okay so simple sales equal to xw which is book and this is my file name right now let me run this so guys you can see here we have successfully opened this particular workbook all right so guys on this spreadsheet i want to apply the filter on any specific column so for my case i want to apply the filter on fourth column which is reason all right so what is my workbook name, which is sales and seats. So for accessing the first sheet, you have to supply zero and which is API and here range. And here you can supply the particular range. Okay, so, so for my case, my data is starting from A1 to I column, right? So simple A1 and I and 5,685, all right? This particular row, got it? Now simple, I'm using here auto filter, auto filter. So guys, to apply the filter using Excel wings, as same as in VB programming as well, okay? So simple auto filter. First of all, you have to supply the field number. So on which field you want to apply the filter. So for my case, I want to apply the filter on fourth column, okay? So which is reason, right? So simple, you can use here four. And here you have to supply the second argument, which is your criteria. So simple East. Okay. Now let me run this particular cell. So guys, you can see here, we have successfully applied the filter on fourth column. Now let me expand this. So you can see here, I'm getting only the East. Fine. Now the question is how we can remove the filter. Okay. So guys, here you can use sales, which is seats, a sheet, which is zero, and you can refer the sheet by their name as well, okay? And API, auto filter, and mode equal to false. Now let me run this. So you can see here, filter has gone, fine. And in the same way, you can apply the filter on second column as well, okay? So simple, sales, which is seats, and zero, which is API and range. Let me copy this. Simple. And now auto filter. And directly you can pass here, let's say second column. And here I'm going to supply the state or city name, which is Oregon. Okay, now let me run this. So simple, you can see that. We have successfully applied the filter on second column, fine. So guys, now the question is how to select multiple criteria in the same column, okay? So for my case, let's say I want to apply the filter on second column based on multiple criteria. Let's say Oregon and New York and Washington, okay? So how we can filter the multiple value from the single column, fine? So guys, again, I need to use here the sales, which is seats, the sheet is zero and API and range. Again, I can paste this. And here I'm using auto filter and field number, which is two. And guys, in case you want to supply the multiple parameters, okay, or you can say that multiple criteria, then what you can do, you can pass here the list, right? So let's say Oregon and New York, All right? Now let me run this. So guys, you can see here, we have successfully applied the filter. Now let me expand this, but I'm getting only for the New York, right? 
So guys, anybody can tell me what is the issue. So here I have supplied the column number, which is two. And this is my the particular parameter, which is Oregon and New York. But when I execute this particular statement, then I'm getting only the New York, right? So guys, I am telling you what is happening. So for an example, let's say if you are going to apply the filter, first of all, on Oregon. So filter is applied successfully. Then if you are going to apply the filter on New York, then, then what will happen? It will remove this particular filter and it will pick only the New York. Fine. So guys, now the question is how we can fix this particular problem. Okay. So here, simple, you have to supply the operator, which is seven. Simple. Now let me run this. So you can see here, we have successfully applied the filter on New York and Oregon. Okay. So guys, to apply the filter in Python programming, you have to remember a couple of things, right? So let me tell you. So first of all, you have to remember your field name, right? Or you can say that field number, right? And the second thing, your criteria. And the third thing, you have to remember what kind of operator you want to use. Okay, so let me tell you what kind of operator are associated with filter. Okay, so let me go to the Google and Excel auto filter operator. All right. So guys, you can see here, these are the particular operator name and these are the value. So I use Excel filter value, which is seven. Okay, so what it means. So for an example, let's say if you are going to apply the filter. So for an example on Oregon, so second criteria was your New York. So it will not remove entire filter. It will just select a New York when you will apply the Excel filter values, right? In the same way, let's say in case you want to find the Excel bottom 10 items, simple, you can use four and Excel top item three, Excel filter font color, you can use nine. So you can access this particular official web page for the Excel auto filter operator. Fine. I will give you this particular link in the description. And now in the same way, you can remove the filter again, right? So API, which is auto filter mode equal to false. So you can see that filter has gone. Okay. So guys, now the next question is, I want to apply the filter. And after the applying the filter, I want to show entire data without removing the filter. So let's say if you are working on large data set, right? If you want to apply the filter on some of the particular criteria, and now you want to show all the data, but you don't want to remove your entire filter. Okay. So simple, you can use here Alt DFS. So when I'm going to press Alt DFS, then what is happening? I'm getting entire the data, but still my filter is applied on the first row, right? So the same thing we can do with the help of Python programming. So let me apply the filter on some specific criteria, which is, let me copy this again. And successfully we have applied the filter on both the criteria, right? Now I want to show all the data, but I don't want to remove my entire filter, right? So simple, how to show all the data. So guys, simple sales, which is seats, the sheet name, which is zero. And here API and auto filter, which is show all data, simple. Now let me run this. So you can see here, we have successfully show the entire data, but still my filter is applied, right? So guys, now the next question is, as of now, I'm going to select this particular range. Okay. So in some cases, the range is fluctuating, then how we can fix the particular range or how we can select the entire data. So simple sales, which is seats and zero, which is API and range, right? So for an example, let's say this is my the data and here I'm using control A. So using the control A, I'm going to select this entire data. Okay. And another method is simple. You can press control Z, go to spatial and you can click on current reason. Simple, right? And the same process we can perform using the Excel wings. Okay. Now what I'm doing here, so sales, which is seat and API dot range. And here I'm using a one dot current reason. 
and auto filter. And again, I'm using here, let's say field uh, two and criteria one equal to, let's say, or fine. So first of all, you have to remove the filter, right? To apply the filter once again. So I can use this line once again. And now let me run this. So you can see here. Successfully, we have applied the filter on the entire data set using the current trees. Okay. So I hope you understood this concept, how we can select the entire data set. Right. So guys, now the question is how we can select top five sales. Okay. So from this data, how we can select the top five sales. So let's say apply the filter and simple. We can use here top 10 and here I can pass five. So this is my the top five sales. Okay. So eventually sales is equal. So that's why you are getting the same number, right? So the same thing, how we can do with the help of Excel mix. So we can use here sales, which is seats and the sheet name is zero and API, which is range even and current reason auto filter. You can use here field, which is, let me count the field. So column. So ninth number, right? So here I can use here nine and criteria. How many values you want to select? Let's say I want to select only the five values. Okay. So the question is how you can select the top five, top 10, right? So guys, again, you have to apply the operators. Okay. So you can see here Excel top 10 item. You can use the operator, which is three, right? So here I can use operator three. Now let me run this. So you can see here, we have successfully applied the filter on top five values. Okay. Make sense. And guys, next interesting question is how we can filter the data based on cell color. Okay. So let's say, let me remove this filter and I want to filter by color. So how we can filter the colored value. So let me go to here and now I want to check the RGB color. So this is my, the RGB color, which is red 221 green 235 and blue 247. Okay. So guys, based on the RGB combination, which is red, green, and blue, I can select this particular color. Okay. So how we can do that? So first of all, I need to create a function. Okay. So DEF, which is RGB to int. And here I'm going to pass RGB, right? And let's say color int. So I want to get the value of that color. Okay. So I'm using here RGB, which is zero plus. So guys, this is the particular formula. You have to remember RGB, which is one multiply by 256. Why I'm using here the 256. So you can see here. So when you go to the more color, so the other color will start from zero to 255. So once you count zero as a one, so it become a 256. Fine. So here I'm using 256 for the first color, right? And plus, and again, RGB of the second color multiply by 256 and multiply by the 256. Simple. And now after that, what can I do? I can simple return the color int. Simple. Let's say RGB to int. And here I can pass that particular value. What was that? So go to here. 221, 235, 247. Okay. So 221, 235, and 247. So right, it is returning me uh, that particular value. Okay. So based on this value, I can easily filter the data. Okay. So let me remove the filter. So how we can do that? So simple sales and sheet, which is zero and API, which is range. Again, I can use a one dot current reason, which is auto filter and field, any field you can use, right? Let's say one and here, what is your criteria? So our criteria one equal to RGB to int. And here I can supply 
that particular number this one okay so let me copy this fine and after that i can use my operator so again you have to follow this particular table so we are getting here excel filter cell color and the value is 8 so simple you can use here the 8 right now let me run this so guys you can see here we have successfully applied the filter all right based on the specific color in the same way let's say i want to change the color once again so let's say i am using here this one now what you can do again more color and you can refer that particular value so ran 255 green 255 and zero so what you can do you can copy this particular line and paste here and here you can use 255 and again 255 and zero okay now let me run this guys you can see it. we have successfully applied the filter on a specific color fine and now let me remove the filter fine so guys last question is also very important so guys look at this data how we can apply the filter on a specific column the column position can be fluctuated okay so as of now the reason is coming on the fourth column okay and now let me and here the column position is also changed okay so the question is how you can track the exact position of each column fine so for an example how we can do that so let me import the library of pandas right and now how we can get the position of city column or you can say that reason column right so I want to find out the index of reason column. Okay. So guys, simple what I'm doing here, I'm using here PD, which is data frame, right? And here I'm using XW and load, which is zero. And I can use here, let me run this first of all. So guys, this is my the particular data, right? What is this? This is just a data frame, right? And I'm going to store this data frame within the list. And now it is written in your list, right? Or you can see that it is written in your only the column. Okay. So when you are reading the data into the data frame and you are going to store in a list and you will get only the columns of the data, right? Now the question is how we can find the position of reason. So guys, simple, you can use here the index because index is the function of the list data structure. And here I can pass city. So it is written in your second column right and in the same way if i am passing the reason it is returning me a fourth column you can see here zero one two three and four in the same way if you are using the price then you will get different number and this particular number right we can pass here within the field okay so how we can do that so let's say sales which is seeds zero and API dot range. And here I'm using A1 dot current reason, which is auto filter. And here I need to supply the field, right? And guys here, you can supply this particular line. Let me copy this and let's say paste, right? And in place of price, I can refer, which is reason. And let me break this. And apart from that, I need to provide criteria, right? So criteria. And criteria, let's say I want to select only the East. Now let me run this. So guys, what is happening? It is not giving me any kind of data. Now let me remove this. So guys, what is happening? Let me copy this. And let me paste here. So guys, it is returning me a four, okay? So when you count, one, two, three, and four, right? So it is giving me a customer. On the customer, there is no name which refers to as East, right? So our index in Python programming will start from zero. That's why this data is not selected, right? So what we can do, we can use here plus one. Now it is giving me a fifth column. In the same way, what you can do, you can use here plus one. Now let me run this once again. So guys, you can see here on the specific column, we have applied the filter, right? So these particular concept you have to remember. In the same way, we can apply the filter on city column as well. 
Now simple, you can pass here city and you can change the city name again, which is Oregon. Okay, now let me run this. So you can see here, we have successfully applied the filter on city as well, right? So guys, these particular concepts you have to remember in case you want to refer the specific column, okay? So guys, this is all about in this video and I'm hoping you guys are getting this kind of the stuff. In case, do you have any kind of question on this? Please let me know in the comment below. And guys, do practice as much as you can. Thanks for watching and have a great day.